everybody, it's Dave here, and today I'm on my way to Tucson, Arizona. I'm just passing Marana, and I'm going to make a pit stop on the way. I'm going to be down visiting my dad this week uh, for a couple days. My dad's having cataract surgery tomorrow, so I'm going to be helping him. But I thought, I want to make a little pit stop on the way and check out a new spot that I haven't been to yet. It's on Tangerine Road. I found it on a place called freecampsites.net. So let's check it out. I'm gonna go check it out and see if it's a spot that I might wanna use in the future for overnight camping. I like to find these little nooks and crannies, and that's kind of what this is. A kind of a little place where you stop for a night and do a little camping. So let's check it out. I'm turning off Tangerine Road. It's about two miles two and a half miles uh, east of I-10 here. So let's go check it out. Tangerine Road, for those of you that don't know anything about Tucson, Tangerine is kind of like runs north of uh, Tucson. It runs east and west. And uh, there's so much development coming out here, it's crazy. But uh, there's a place out here called the Tortolitas. And they have hiking and stuff like that that you can hike. But there's a little road that runs to it that um, according to freecampsites.net you can camp along this road it's state trust land so I've got my map dialed in to see if I can find it it's coming up here but if you camp on state trust land just remember you need to have a state trust land permit to camp on state trust land and they run $20 I have a video I put out uh, on state trust land and where to go to find those permits so if you don't know how to find one look up in the corner there I'll put a link to that video for state trust land and remember there's a 14 day annual limit of time you can stay on state trust land so let's see if we can find this I'm watching like a hawk so I'm gonna shut this down for a minute so I can watch the road or else I may miss it one of those where you have to make sure you close the gate when you come through so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and after I get through here then I'll close the gate up make sure you close the gate they get really ticked off if you don't do that you might have cattle in there and they don't want to get, to get that get out and get loose The road doesn't seem to be too bad. We've got a little power 
station here, substation. I'm just checking the road out to see what it's like. It's a little bumpy bumpy. for a minute. I suppose you can just anywhere in here you can dry camp I see a little fire ring right over there where it looks like somebody's been here before come and show you these are what I call nooks and crannies places you can find back in here where you can come stop for a night and do a little camping for a night or two and then move on down the road if you want Yeah, there's a little spot here. Now this goes up the road about another quarter of a mile, half a mile, and then it, it runs into the, uh, uh, I think it's called Tort, I'll look it up on the map. It's Tortolita uh, Recreation Area, or Tortolita Hiking Area, right up there in those mountains right there. And there's some hiking areas that you can hike up into those mountains. It's way over the uh, mesquites there, you can't see it very well. But somebody's obviously been out here. I see some camp signs. <sighs> Once you get off the road, it's not too bad. You got the telephone poles, but if you just want a spot for a night or two, and you're looking for some place to camp, it's not too bad. It's not the best. The road's a little bit, it's not unnavigable. I'd be careful coming through here though when it's really raining oh man I know we thought about coming out here a couple months ago but it was gonna be raining and so we didn't come out here for that reason didn't want to be at, stuck out here in the mud kind of and you got some little bumps there but not bad I'll put the drone up and see what it looks like from the air I'll show you how far up it goes just got me something to eat. I'm gonna go on into Tucson and my dad should be getting back from something. He had an appointment this morning with a different doctor, but then tomorrow we gotta to go to the eye doctor so he can have a, his cataract surgery in the morning. And of course, he can't drive and he has to be careful about his eye. So they're gonna do one eye, one this month and then next the other eye next month, so. It's pain getting old, right? It's a pain getting old. My my father-in-law has a sign on his wall that says getting old isn't for wimps. <laughs> hey you guys have a good day. Safe travels wherever you're going. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe and ring that little bell on the side so you'll be notified when I put out my next videos. I'm always looking for little nooks and crannies. And Arizona has lots of little nooks and crannies. Places you can kind of tuck away and camp for a night. You can't find that in some states. But Arizona has lots of them.